It's January 10th, and it's time for this month's Rediscover Your Stamps. Hibba and I are going to be using this Close to My Heart stamp. It's a stamp all about books, and I'm going to be working in my... I'm going to be working in my 2021 book journal, which is a life crafted album for the, that year, last year, I guess. I always do my book pages the same. So I use a six by eight paper pad. I use two stamps. One is from Kelly stamps. One is from Wild Whisper. Um, I use the same two stamps on every page. And I try to keep it super simple, but it's me, so nothing is ever super simple. Because I love color and pattern and a lot of it. <laughs> so I am trimming down this little hexagon paper. If you are interested in the this collection, this is really old. This is One Canoe Two's Saturday Afternoon. Um, One Canoe Two doesn't make scrapbooking collections anymore um but they do have a stationery store and they have some beautiful products there like home decor and things um so i just grabbed two six by papers i'm gonna use that super colorful one as my background i'm gonna layer my photograph of my book cover onto that bright pattern paper and then i'm not gonna add anything else decided that we didn't need anything more on that side of the page <laughs> look at my What's the word? Um, I'm resisting the urge. <laughs> because this page is going to be in a pocket, I am adhering it to the page behind it just to keep it from shifting. Um, and because I don't know, that's just what I've started doing with my Life Crafted albums. And I like the way that things kind of stay together that way. Um, so that's it. Next up. You're going to get a sneak peek at a project that actually won't be on my channel till late in January. Uh, and that's because I kind of did one and then another one of the these pages back to back. And so that's going to be for another project and another design team later on this month. You're going to get this little sneaky peek. I am trimming down a sheet of white cardstock. So this page in my album... One side is a page protector. One side is an out of the page protector page. So um, I wanted to stamp, but I don't want to stamp on the back of that page because if I do that, what happens if I mess it up? <laughs> so uh, I just trim down a thinner sheet of white paper and that's what I'm going to do all of my stamping and things on. So these are the two stamps that I stamp on every page for every book. I'm going to go ahead and trim those stamps down. I'm going to back them with that pretty aqua colored paper that I also use to map my photo with. And I'm going to ink these two stamps up for some reason, me personally, when I have stamps like this, where I've stamped them onto white paper and then just cut them into a rectangle, um, they need gray ink. Just That's just me. But for some reason, it doesn't look finished and it looks off to my eye if it doesn't have, if it's not inked either with gray or with brown. For some reason, it's just, that's just me. So <laughs> I cut, I stamped those stamps, trimmed the stamps into, um, two rectangles. I'm going to back those rectangles with that lovely kind of aqua colored paper. And then I can move on. These are the only extra stamps that I used on this spread. And um, like I said, I use these two stamps on every one of my spreads in this 2021 journal. I have not started 2022 yet, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one. But for this one, we need these stamps. <laughs> So then um, once I have these matted, I'm going to fill out the information on them. And then I went off camera for a little bit and I did a bit of alcohol marker coloring, which you're going to see right now. So I am not a pro at coloring with alcohol markers at all, but I really wanted to color a couple of these stamped elements. I use Nuvo alcohol markers. Those are just the ones I've always bought and used and I know how to blend them. Again, I am not a pro by any stretch of the imagination, but I did go ahead and add 
some color to those pretty awesome stamps. Now I'm going to use more of them. I think I used, from the Close to My Heart stamp set, I may have used all but one or two, maybe? I don't know. Possibly. I used a lot of them. <laughs> so I'm going to start with this one. I am using um, Rose Petal Ink from Catherine Pooler, Cumberbund Ink from Catherine Pooler, and um, Sauna Ink from Catherine Pooler. Those are my three ink colors, in case you are wondering. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm so I'm stamping one of the little sentiments that's in the stamp set. Then I'm putting my book review down, which is all filled out. I stamped that just one more channel, just one more chapter in the Cumberbund, Cumberbund ink. And then I am going to go ahead and add my review, how many stars I gave the book. So I, I'm not a wordy person. So if you watch my channel regularly, I don't, I journal in my memory planner and sometimes in, um, some of my traveler's notebooks, but for the most part, I like to scrapbook for the fun of color and pattern and design and art. So I keep the journaling just two very basic things. So for in this case, I just need to know the name, the author, when I started the book, when I finished the book, which always gives me a good idea as to whether I should read it again or if it, <laughs> it took me like more than a month to read, then never mind. Um, and then I went ahead and added all of my stamped images. So there's this stamp in the collection. It's It says Bibliophile. Bibli bibliophile and then it has a definition of it and the way it is stacked I really wanted my little lady and her stack of books to be sitting or standing on that stamp so I kind of moved things around got out my misty so I had really good perfect placement and also because I am stamping this with sauna ink which I knew going into it because I've used these inks so many times. I knew that this needed this stamp set, this ink color needs stamped twice to get a really good, rich color that really represents the color best. So I'm gonna stamp that stamp twice. Moved everything around a little bit so that I could nestle that girl right where I wanted her because I really wanted her like right there in that little L-shaped stamp set. So you can see here, I'm gonna pop her down. She's adorable. And then I can go ahead and I wanna add that stack of books and have it kind of tucked up behind her and also sitting on that stamp. And then I have her cup of tea. Initially I had wanted a cup of tea on top of the stack of books, but it wasn't working for me. And I'm gonna add that last colored stamped image right there on top of that section. Now I need to add some sprinkles. We always need sprinkles. Everything I make needs a sprinkle of something. <laughs> Nouveau drops, sequins, enamel dots, teeny tiny little stamps. I love sprinkles. There's this cute little like book love stamp in that little close to my heart set. And I used that one to stamp some of these little hearts all over my page. And that is where we are going to call this one all finished. I'm just going to adhere it to the back of that other page, pop it into my book, and one more spread, done. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to head over to Hibba's channel. Check out what she did with this stamp set. We are going to be doing this series all year long. We're going to do it on the 10th of every month. So you can always come over and say hello. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye.